We look back on so many highlights. Have you got all week to watch these back? Because it's going to take a while. It started in the wet and behind the safety car. And we got 35 cars to the start, 34 cars to the start, rather minus, of course, the rather battered and bruised 93 Porsche. But it didn't take long for the overtaking to begin. And a great example of that between Roman Rusinov and Konstantin Tereshenko. It was the Russian driver uh, from Duquesne overtaking his compatriot on the Mistral straight around the outside when conditions were very, very different. Side by side action three abreast, in fact, in LMP3 down in towards turn three. And then a spin for Rodrigo Sales. This could have accounted for our eventual winner, of course, the 22. Phil Hansen reacted so quickly to that round the outside of a spinning JMW Motorsport Ferrari. Lead change, the first of a, a few here up the inside for Mikkel Jensen on Nicolo Lapierre. And uh, G-Drive guys were very chuffed with that. Then there was a clash towards the end of the lap between a Duquesne and a Ligier within the LMP3 category. That forced a tyre to go down on Louis Saint-Jouin's Graf Duquesne M30, and it forced another safety car so that uh, our hard-working marshals could retrieve what was left of his Michelin tyre. Cool racing up against, again, the Duquesne car, and that was a move legally this time for Konstantin Tereshenko on Nicola Lapierre, much to the delight of Gilles Duquesne. Battling in the GTs kind of carried on throughout, but a nice little bit of strategy for our eventual winners, Spirit of Race, put them well ahead. Jean-Éric Verne eventually finishing second and only 2.6 seconds away from the race winner. You wouldn't have thought that with that move. And what about this? A dramatic accident for Loic Duval, which saw the Frenchman on his roof in the Algarve Pro Racing prototype, slapped there on the side by the Graf LMP3 car, and that's how the car ended up. Loic Duval quickly out, thankfully, and able to give us uh, a very balanced assessment as to how all of that unfolded. 55 Ferrari of Duncan Cameron and Matt Griffin and Aaron Scott on its way to victory. And they eventually would win by a decent chunk of time. That was the reaction to G-Drive. They thought that was the race win right there. Eight, nine seconds was Jean-Éric Verne's advantage after the last pit stop in the race, but they didn't quite factor in Philippe Albuquerque's charge to the finish. The overtake happening at the end of the Mistral. There was the 55 Ferrari then taking victory. The 22 out of the final corner to whip across the line. 2.6 seconds rather to the good and another victory for Hansen and Albuquerque. So much it meant to the United Autosport gang. Real Team Racing can celebrate as well after victory in the LMP3 category by about the same margin, 2.1 seconds there. David Drew clambering out of his Ligier. 118 laps completed for the 22 of United Autosports, Phil Hansen and Philippe Albuquerque. Uh, 26, Roman Rusinov, Mikkel Jensen, Jean-Éric Verne have to make do with second, but uh, they pushed as hard as they could. And it's Graf third, James Allen, Thomas Laurent and Alex Cugno, those drivers that couldn't feature on the podium. Panis Racing and Algarve Pro Racing complete the top five. In LMP3, Real Team Racing, Esteban Garcia and David Drew Second place, United Autosports. That's Duncan Tappy and Andrew Bentley who finish on the podium. And it's also a podium finish for Inter Europe Hall competitions, Nigel Moore and Martin Hipper. The 55 crew we know all about, Cameron, Griffin and Scott. Second place in the GTE category is Alessio Picariello for Proton Competition, Michele Beretta and Christian Reed. And third place for Iron Links, Michelle Gatting, Manuela Gosner and Rahel Fry.